Welcome. Family, movies brief here. Today, I'm going to explain a sci-fi thriller film called Level 16. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie starts in an all-girls hostel. Vivian and Sophia are best friends. They talk about being adopted one day, suggesting that the girls are all orphans. The hostel seems to have very strict rules. At night, when the blue lights turn on, all of them go to sleep in their respective beds without any question. In the morning, when the alarm goes off, they all line up in front of the basin, with their respective jar of face cream and towel to clean themselves. They have to wash their face in front of a camera. Even a little bit of sloppiness can put the girls in big trouble. That day, when it's Vivian's turn to wash her face, Sophia drops her face cream. Sophia has bad eyesight so she has trouble finding the cream. Vivian runs to help her, so is a little late for her turn. The alarms go off. Two guards drag Vivian away as she begs them that she is clean. Sophia and the other girls silently face the wall. The building they live in is an isolated, artificially lit and windowless boarding school. The girls living there have never seen daylight. They have been in the establishment since they were babies, starting from level zero. As they grow older, they move up to higher floors and higher levels. The highest level is level 16. When the girls are in level 16, they are eligible to be adopted. Throughout their lives, they have been taught to be clean and proper. They are schooled in health, home skills, and etiquette. They are taught that curiosity and anger are vices that make them less of a girl. However, they are never taught to read and write. Cut to a few years later. Vivian and Sophia reunite at level 16. But Vivian hates Sophia for being the reason she was punished back in level 10. Vivian has now become a top girl who follows the rules of the academy without any questions. The girls are happy to be at the last level. On their first day in level 16, they pick a bed for themselves, then take the vitamins one by one. Then, they go to eat and move on with their routine life. That day, Sophia pulls Vivian aside in the bathroom to tell her something, but Vivian dismisses her. Miss Brixel is their supervisor. That day, during their assembly, she comes in with good news. Brixel has brought a pretty dress for the girls. They are beyond delighted. The dresses have their name embroidered on them. The following day, the girls are doing their chores when Sophia trades her chore with a girl, to be with Vivian. She then tells her to just pretend to take the vitamins and not actually take them. Before she can tell her the reason, a girl comes looking for Vivian and takes her away. Vivian doesn't trust Sophia, she is skeptical of the idea but she doesn't take the vitamins that day. Later that night, all girls fall asleep except for Vivian and Sophia. Sophia then reveals that the vitamins are actually sleeping pills and that the establishment has been drugging the girls since level 1. As they talk, they hear footsteps outside the door. So, they quickly pretend to be asleep. Miss Brixel and two guards enter the room. Brixel chooses two of the girls, Vivian and Olivia. The guards pick both of them up and take them to a room. Then, Miss Brixel comes in with an old couple. She tells them about the girls as if they are goods she is trying to sell. The couple chooses Olivia. They want to buy her. Vivian is shocked to know that they are not being adopted, but bought by rich families. Then, she is brought back by the guards to the room again. Vivian finally believes everything that Sophia has said. Sophia then reveals that she has not taken those pills since level 13, every night, she stays awake as the girls sleep. When they got to level 16, the guards started taking girls out every night to show them to their clients. When asked what she does at night, Sophia reveals that she listens to the girls outside. When these girls go to sleep, the other levels of girls wake up and do the same routine. She also tells her about the black hour, where the hallways go silent and every level of girls is asleep. In that hour, a security guard comes into the room and, and touches the sleeping girls inappropriately. As they talk, Brixel comes into the room again. This time she takes Sophia and one other girl. After they are gone, Vivian sees the doors are unlocked. She is in front of the surveillance camera, but no alarms ring. She then tries to open the door outside, but can't, so she goes back to the room again. Soon, Sophia is brought back too. The following day, the girls are taken to Dr. Miro's clinic. He does his monthly checkup on the girls and injects them with a chemical. Posing it as a vaccine. The doctor seems to be friendly. He tells Vivian of an actress of the same name, Vivian Lee, and compliments her smile. Later, the girls have their movie night. They watch the same movie that they have been shown for years. That night, after the girls fall asleep, Vivian and Sophia talk about escaping the building. They know that they need the keycard to open the doors. Sophia suggests that they steal it from the guard that comes in during the black hour, but Vivian is against the idea. Instead, she thinks that Dr. Miro can help them. 
The following day she goes to Dr. Miro's clinic without him calling her. She makes up an excuse about wanting to know what the actress Vivian Lee looks like. The doctor lovingly tells her that he will look into it. Later that day, the girls are playing some board games, when one of them gets a seizure and starts to vomit. Sophia helps her clean up, while one of the girls, Ava, suggests they should call the guards. She assumes that it is because of the vaccine they were injected with. That day, as the girls are in their grooming class, the video of Vivian Lee plays. Vivian knows that Dr. Miro put on the show. At the next doctor's appointment, Vivian thanks Dr. Miro. But as they talk, the doctor gets suspicious that she has not been taking her vitamins lately. So he injects her with a drug that will make her fall asleep. The whole day, Vivian is hazy. She slurs on her words while talking to Sophia and her hair is messy too. Ava assumes this is because Vivian is lazy and unclean, so she reports it to Ms. Brixel. She gathers the girls and takes Vivian with her to punish her for being unclean. She then puts her in a tiny cell and tells her to reflect on her actions. Brixel then goes back to her room in the building. She pours two glasses of alcohol and we get to know that Dr. Miro and her are actually a couple. They have a conversation about their boss who brings the clients. Suggesting that they, too, work for someone. Miro reveals that their boss wants them to restock on girls. Brixel is against the idea, she wants to get out of this business, but Miro suggests that they don't have to bring infant girls, they can get some teenagers and admit them to the establishment. However, Brixel doesn't agree. Cut to that night. Vivian is still in the cell, while Sophia makes a rope using the bedsheets. She plans to attack the security guard who comes to harass the girls at night. Just then, he comes in. When he is about to touch one of the girls, Sophia chokes him with a rope. She then rushes outside to free Vivian. But before she can, the guard attacks her. He is almost about to kill her when she saves herself by hitting him with an iron, her nightgown is splattered with blood. She then takes his keycard and rushes to Vivian. However, the alarm starts to ring. Hence, Sophia runs back to the room. Vivian cries and tells her to not leave her this time. Sometime later, Brixel gets Vivian out and makes her and the other girls stand in line. Miro is there too. They tell the girls that Sophia has betrayed the establishment and will be punished accordingly. Then they ask if the girls have the card that Sophia took. No one speaks. Turns out that Sophia had hidden the card before she was caught. Dr. Miro is furious. He threatens the girls that he will take each one of them for a punishment one by one, until they find the card. He then asks the guards to take Rita for the punishment. She begs that she hasn't done anything wrong, but the guards take her away. Vivian doesn't know where they have taken Sophia. Brixel is now more strict with the vitamin rule. She feeds the girls the as vitamins herself. That night, Vivian stabs herself with her hair clipped to try and stay awake. She looks for the card everywhere on Sophia's bed, then finds it in the headboard of her own bed. Sophia had left it there to help her friend run away. Vivian tries to open the room door with it, but it doesn't work. Then she gets an idea, she takes her hairpin and starts to remove the door altogether. She finally gets out of the room. Then, she goes to Dr. Miro's cabin and finds Brixel there. Brixel tries to inject Vivian with a sedative, but she attacks her and injects her instead. Vivian then asks her about Sophia's whereabouts but doesn't get any answer. She then sneaks into the prison cells in the basement of the building. Sophia is in one of the rooms there. Using Brixel's card, she manages to free her. But her hands are zip-tied. The girls then find a surgical room with scissors. They use it to cut the zip tie. But they also reveal the body of their friend, Rita. She was taken that morning for punishment. The girls are horrified to see her face has been skinned, they are now determined to run away. Sophia wants to warn other girls but Vivian wants to run away, so they decide that Sophia will go to the halls and bring all the girls to a room, while Vivian stays there. So, Sophia goes in and collects as many girls as she can. Meanwhile, as Vivian waits for her, she hears a guard coming towards her. She escapes and hides inside a room. There, she finds a TV. A video starts to play. It is an advertisement of some sort. Dr. Miro, in the video, explains a procedure to regain your youth by planting a beautiful donor's face onto your own. Vivian realizes that they have been brought up all these years, and raised in a sterile environment without sunlight, so rich sponsors can pay to get the skin of these young girls transplanted onto them, to make them appear more youthful. Rita's face was skinned because she was chosen by a client. Elsewhere, Sophia brings all the girls to a room. She tries to explain to them what is happening but the girls do not believe her. They even threaten to call the guards. But just then, Vivian comes in with Brixel. She is intoxicated because of the sedative. 
Vivian tells them about Rita's skin body downstairs. She then shows them Brixel's scars revealing that she too was a client, and was wearing someone's face. The girls now finally believe them. They take Brixel to the cell she had put Vivian earlier in, and rush out of the building through the escape door. However, the guards find them midway. Most of the girls run, but Sophia is caught by the guard. He injures her but the girls manage to push him off the building, killing him. Then, all of them run away in different directions. The guards almost catch Sophia and Vivian, but they lock themselves into an abandoned house. Dr. Miro and the guards are outside, and he lovingly tells Vivian to come outside. But Vivian cuts her face, proving that she is of no use to Miro now. The guards get a call from their boss who orders them to kill Miro since he has failed. That night, the girls stay in the room. In the morning they are rescued by two police officers. The movie ends as Vivian and Sophia come outside the house and see the rainfall for the first time in their lives. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.